It was just a normal day in sixth grade at Sequoia Middle School. It was um, testing for all grades. I just finished my math uh, test and I was going outside to my PE class, just running down the hill. Um, and then I tripped or slipped, something happened and I fell and something just triggered in my heart and I just didn't get up. And at that moment, when people saw me on the ground, they didn't really know what happened until they saw I wasn't really breathing, I was just gasping for air. So my PE teacher, Ms. Wastel, came in and gave me CPR along with um, the assistant pr principal, the principal, and other PE teachers and counselors. The day that Haley had the cardiac arrest, I was quite shocked. And of course, they called me from the school. And I think I just immediately went into meltdown mode. I wasn't really exactly sure what happened. But then I guess the adrenaline kicked in and I really became the strong mom. And immediately I decided I was going to call my husband. And instead of getting in the car, I was going to call my husband and tell him. And luckily, he was in the car coming home for lunch. And he dashed over to the school. And then I followed him and got, he got there about five minutes before I did. And they had already taken Haley and rushed her to Los Robles Medical Center to the emergency room. And I learned at that time, one of the counselors uh, came in the car with me from the school that they had been, been performing CPR and keeping her alive you know, while the ambulance got there. And of course, when the ambulance got there, they did a need to administer a shock with a defibrillator to her heart several times to get her somewhat stabilized. And so at that point, it's a little bit like TV. You're living outside of uh, yourself for a moment, kind of just seeing in of all this chaos going on. Um, my doctor um, found out that I have a very rare heart condition called CPVT. It's very rare tachycardia where my heart rhythms are um, faster than normal. And so I was rushed into surgery and I had um, a defibrillator implanted under my arm. For my recovery, the um, main thing I remember when I was in the hospital is when I was um, starting to walk. I had the walker and I was walking around the hospital. And the best thing was when the doctors and the nurses came out and they started clapping and cheering for me. And that just made me really happy. I learned to be very thankful for what I have and who I have and to give back to others and also spread awareness for people that don't really understand CPR. I'm thankful to the American Heart Association for really setting up the guidelines for CPR and how they keep innovating and making it work and making it different. And um, so it keeps now, the, I think the rate of saving people is so much higher than it was 10 years ago. So it's a blessing. For the future, I plan on going to college for graphic design or interior design, but I really would like to work for American Heart Association one day. That's so I'm a survivor. Yeah. I'm <laughs>